today i'm going to be showing you how to make sure your mouse sensor is rotated correctly basically have you ever wondered why when you are aiming sometimes it feels like you're fighting your mouse to stay horizontal like when you're tracking somebody it's not as smooth as it could be and there's like little dips well that's because your mouse sensor is slightly off and we are going to be using my old friend raw excel and no this is not going to be a raw excel video i know a lot of you guys want to know how to set this up i'm still learning and doing a lot of research myself on the new update so basically just give that time but today we're going to focus on how to get smoother tracking in whatever game you are playing and it's going to help you out a lot in the long run at first it might feel weird but basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up raw excel download it link will be down in the description below and then you are going to want to open up paint here okay and then what you want to do is i have a uh, g pro uh super light and then you're going to want to come down here you want to change the dpi to like 400 or even like 350 or 300. Basically, you want your DPI to be low enough to where it's not gonna fly off the screen here, okay? And then you can just put it back to uh, your normal DPI, whatever you played at before. But the point of this video is you are going to be doing some exercises to see how your mouse sensor is. And I'm gonna run through this with you guys so that you can understand how to do this for yourself because everybody's on different mice and everybody's sensor is different. The G Pro uh, sensor is pretty good, but basically what you're going to want to do is the thing that we're going to focus on most is the rotation, okay? The rotation on raw Excel. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come in here, you're going to close your eyes and you're just going to use your wrist and you're going to imagine tracking somebody on a horizontal playing field and imagine them going back and forth. Like you're trying to track them, right? You're trying to track them nice and smooth. Like, sorry, I bumped my mic. But we're going to be doing this. We're going to close our eyes and we're just going to try to track just using my wrist here and we're going to open my eyes. OK, so you see how the slope slightly goes down from the right side. So right here, this is at uh, zero and the slope is pointed downwards. OK, the crappy zero. OK, zero. So this is at zero rotation. So we're just going to go R equals zero. OK, so our rotation right now is uh on this slope this field right here it is pointed downward okay so we're going to exaggerate this and i'm just going to show you what all this means so if i try doing this with a um with a rotation and again we're going to focus on rotation if i try doing this with a rotation of eight okay it may be different for you but for me a rotation of eight I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to try tracking an enemy and there. OK, so you see how the slope is going down, like down a lot. The right side right here is going down and this is at a rotation of um, eight. OK, so this is at a rotation of eight. It's going down. And what we're going to want to do is we want to have this horizontal. We want to have this a nice, consistent line going straight okay and you see how like hard i'm struggling to even try to make the straight i can't do that so now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to go with a slope of negative eight okay and if we go with the slope of negative eight a rota rotation of negative eight i don't know why i keep saying slope but rotation of negative eight i'm going to try doing the same thing okay so you see how right here okay this is pointing, the right side is pointing up, the left side is pointing down. This one is at negative eight, okay? The rotation equals negative eight, boom. So this right here, the rotation equals negative eight. Now, I'm sorry that I'm not really good at paint, but so we know that a rotation of negative eight is going to be, the right hand of our slope is going to be up, okay? and a rotation of eight, positive eight, our rotation is going to be, go our right hand side is going to be pointed down. So basically all you need to know is when you're doing this for yourself, if you're going into the negatives, the right hand of your slope is going to be up. If you're going into the positives, the right hand of your slope is going to be down, okay? So now we need to figure out how are we going to do this, how we're going to make it to where we can have a perfect slope. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to go back here to zero. And now that we know um, how this works, 
we're going to apply zero and we're going to see how my slope is okay so i'm going to close my eyes i'm going to try to track an enemy back and forth and okay so you guys can see this is pretty good zero is pretty good but for some reason it's still kind of down that's kind of a crappy one so we're going to do it one more time we're going to close my eyes and then we're going to imagine tracking somebody back and forth just using my wrist okay and then okay so now you can kind of see the slope starts to go down so it is going down now what we got to diagnose here is remember how i said if it was into negatives your slope is going to go up the right hand side is going to be up so if I do this, it's up. So now we know that zero, my slope is going down. That means I need to try to bring this right hand side up a little bit. So I have to go into the negatives. Now, when I go into the negatives with a rotation, we'll say, I know, let's say two. Okay, let's go do a negative two. Four was a little too much. Let's do negative two. We're gonna go through here and then we're just going to close our eyes and see to if we can track somebody just going back and forth okay two is pretty good the right hand side is still a little bit up so i'm going to go down into the decimal points now okay i'm gonna go down to the decimal points so it's gonna be like 1.75 and 1 1.5 i'm gonna try 1.75 just to see if we can dial it in a little more for our rotation so i'm gonna go 1.75 okay and we're gonna apply here now we're going to go down here and we're going to try to track somebody with our eyes closed. And guys, you cannot try to force this to be, um, you can't force it to be horizontal. You want to do this naturally. That's why I'm saying when you close your eyes, you want to make sure that you are training your mind or not really training your mind, but you're imagining and your hands doing what you imagine. That's what you want to make sure. And yeah, that's what you want to make sure your mouse is doing also. We're gonna close our eyes here. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm pretending I'm tracking somebody. He's going horizontal, left and right. And look at that. Okay, so we almost have a pretty much straight line. Let's delete this one more time and let's try it again, going back and forth, tracking this guy. And okay, so our slope is still down a little bit. So I'm gonna fine tune this because I'm a very, very picky person and I'm going to fine tune it down to 1.7 okay i'm going to try one negative 1.7 for our rotation and then i'm going to go in here and i'm going to do it again i'm imagining that he is strafing back and forth and it's still down just a little bit now i'm going to actually make this a little bit further and i'm going to try negative 1.5 okay and i'm going down by a point uh three or so or I went 1.7, I'm going down by 1.2, okay? So, or I'm going down by 0.2 or 0 0.0, however you wanna say it, whatever, math is difficult. Now we're gonna go here and we're gonna try this again. We're gonna go back and forth and imagine I'm tracking him. And that is pretty good. I kind of messed up there, but let's see. Back and forth, I'm tracking him. I'm imagining he's a bot and this is what we have. We have a nice smooth line when I'm going back and forth, back and forth. It's nice and smooth. And that is basically what you want. So even right now when I'm tracking somebody, if I do a quick flick, it works out. So next thing you can chest is do a quick flick. Uh, it goes up. My flick was not that good. There we go. So it's pretty much horizontal. I can fine tune this a little bit more, but you see how I am like curving my mouse a little bit. There, and that is basically what you guys want to do. So we actually came up on a motive or rotation of 1.5 or negative 1.5 for me. Guys, this is going to be different for you, okay? This is gonna be way different for you. You're going to have to go through and try this out, but I guarantee you not a lot of you know this. So hopefully you guys find this video useful and hopefully it helps you out. Always guys, remember to stay blessed and stay humble. More aiming tips and tricks coming soon. Dry Newt's out. Peace.